I got another package from Vinyl, V-N-Y-L. Secretly, I think it's secretly an acronym uh, because it clearly it stands for vividly not your llama. <laughs> hey, I'm Annie and this is why you should love music. Okay, obviously I'm just kidding. Vinyl is a monthly record subscription service. They're super awesome. You pay people to internet stock you and they pick out super awesome music for you. They pick out, there's too bad there's no R in here or else I could make it like very new, young. <laughs> My vibe this month, I believe was uh, hashtag April showers. Is that a thing? Was that a vibe? <laughs> Sidebar. Um, I have a Spotify playlist that was supposed to come out at the end of April that was like April shower tunes and I made the playlist but I haven't done the video yet so hopefully I'll get around to filming it and it will be very late um, but I'm still trying to post it so sorry and I'll get back to you on that. However, let's get into this month's unboxing. Let's... <laughs> Alright, enough with the shenanigans. Time to get this sucker open. Boom! First try. Okay, let's see what they have in the store. Oh, they're... literally the first time that I remembered there's gonna be a paper in here. There's not a paper in here, that's hilarious. They like to mess with me. Ooh, what are you? Oh, this album does not exist. I own this on digital, but I don't know it. This is so weird. Okay, I have this record on my iTunes, but I have never heard it before. It's on my playlist that's like, I need to listen to it, but I haven't given it enough time yet. It's been on there for like, three years or something. I actually don't know when this came out. Maybe it's only been on there for like two years, but good job. Um, I downloaded this because uh, I thought it was interesting. I heard some clip of it somewhere. Don't remember, but I thought I would like this. So this is perfect. Thank you for this. Also, the album name is called This Album Does Not Exist. So you already love it. I don't remember it at all. That's hilarious though. That is so funny. I know that album, but I don't know that album. Good job, vinyl humans. Good job, vinyl elves. All right, second record is Orange and Sunny. Oh, Grease Folk, cool. From The Spark. I don't know this. I don't know this album. It's an EP. It looks to be a 12 inch EP. I'm wondering if it's like some electronic remix, like a remix album, or if it's like an acoustic album. I actually don't know Grease Folk that much, but I do like their sound a lot. I'm just not very familiar with them. Very cool. Interested in that. And thirdly, what are you? Ooh, you are heavy. In Tall Buildings by Driver. Again, have seen this, have heard of it, know zero things about it. Yeah, so like, that's funny because all three of these albums, I feel like I peripherally knew of their existence vaguely and generally, but I actually don't know any of them. So this is going to be really fun to discover them anew or actually. Letter! Note time. Oh, oh. Well, this is exciting. There's a... The stickers are stuck to the note. <laughs> oh, here we go. Merge Records. Cool. That's a label that I've never heard of that I'm gonna need to check out. Presumably, at least one of these records are on that label. Very cool. Jay! I got Jay two months in a row. Last month, Jay did my box and it was like the best thing that ever happened. So I'm already way more excited about this. Hey Annie, here's your hashtag April showers box. This time around, we've got, we've got ya some is one word. So ya some is like awesome. And also we got you some. So we got ya some. I don't know. I still can't tell if it's awesome with a Y or if we, we got you slang some. I don't know. This time around, we've got you some soaring single jams from Le Elector. Definitely says Elector, but I'm gonna say electric. Elector folk. Is Elector folk like a subgenre of electric folk? That's cool. I'm gonna be Googling Elector folk. Okay, single jams from Elector folk favorites, Grizz folk. That sentence didn't sound correct. That's my fault. As well as the infectious, energetic debut album from Brooklyn pop rockers, Dreamers. That's the one that I have on digital somehow, but have not listened to yet. And some carefully constructed DIY indie bedroom rock from In Tall Buildings. Enjoy, Jay. Yay! Indie folk electric rock. Jay, you're my hero, and I love you, and I love these. I'm so excited. Okay, this album does not exist. And yet I hold it in my hands. Ooh, this is a very, very cool sleeve, by the way. 
I'm digging the blue ombre sky thing. It's like the background layer of this. Also, we get the lyrics all over the sleeve, which makes me happy. Pretty standard pressing. It's a little thin, but well cut on the edges. Nice. Fairfax. Okay, this label is Fairfax. We're looking for merge records. And there's a digital code in here, which I'm not gonna take out right now because I don't wanna lose it. Secondarily, let's check out this Grace Folk EP. It's Elector Folk, so we know it's exciting. Am I opening it correctly? Do you open it on the top? That would be weird. I feel like you open it on the side. You do. I do. I don't know if you're supposed to, but that's what I do, apparently. Just found out. Oh dear. It's made a friend of me and doesn't want to let go. Okay. Ooh, it's white. Very fun. Whoa, this is really solid. This is a really good pressing. It's quite thick, has nice edges. Pretty clean. Nice. And we have the familiar label on the inside, which is wonderful. And driver. This guy's name is Eric, in case you're wondering. I forgot to show you the front and back. That's Eric. Everybody say hello to Eric. Hi, Eric. Oh, yeah. I forgot to check what label this is on. Virgin Records. This is on Virgin Records. So you must be from Merge Records, I'm guessing. If you're not, that would be really weird. That would be cool. Maybe they're like, maybe Jay was like, you will like these three albums and also this record label. I don't know. Ooh, very cool sleeve. And there's a download code in here as well. Or, nope, yep, it is. This is like a really cool sleeve. It's super thick and like matte texture and it has this awesome picture on it, which is wonderful and these lyrics, which is double wonderful. Well, he wasn't kidding about the bedroom rock. It's like, literally, there's Eric in his bedroom, rocking out. This was pressed by westernvinyl.com. I don't know if it's in association with Nerd Records or not. All right, again, we got a nice solid pressing. Ooh, it very needs to be cleaned. That's okay. And we have minimalistic minimalism happening in the label. Very cool. I feel like there's a water buffalo where the record label should be. It's possible it's a Cebu. I'm not entirely certain. I don't really know. Mm. Danger, Will Robinson. I just saw this little guy right here, which means I probably won't like this album as much, which is a little sad. That's okay. He still did a really good job. Jay, I love you. You're amazing. I'm going to look at Merge Records. I wonder what bands are on that label. Probably something exciting. Well, that was a fun, joyous adventure. Thank you for joining me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. I post vinyl videos on Fridays. Occasionally, I post other random videos during the week as I have time. They're always music related, but you beyond that, you never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes people request um, for me to do covers, so I'll do some singing and playing of piano and guitar. Not really playing piano, but pretending. Uh, sometimes I do Spotify playlists every month, except for this month, so just kidding on that one. Um, and just other random music discussion. Drop me a comment. I love to hear from you. Tell me uh, what you think about these bands. Inform me about them. Tell me, like, the things I need to know. Let me know what you got in your box. That's it. I will see you next week. I'm gonna go listen to these. Okay, wait. I just thought of another thing. So since I already have this on digital and since there's like apparently probably gonna be lots of swears or at least some swears in here, um, I'm going to, I, I want to give one of you this, uh, the digital code. So if you are interested in this album and you would like to have it on digital, leave me a comment below about literally anything that you want. And I'm just gonna pick randomly somebody in the comments. What should the comments be? I just want to pick like one of the comments randomly and be like, you won, here's a picture of the thing. And then I'll send you like a private message or something. Can you send private messages on YouTube? I feel like you can, I'll figure out how to do it. If you want a chance to win the digital, a digital copy of this album, <laughs> leave me four words and they all have to start with V-N-Y-L. Bonus points if they make actual sense together. Double bonus points if they're hilarious. Let's do that, that could be fun or entertaining. Or if you don't want to do that, just leave me a random comment and at the end of it be like, P.S. Oh, I know. Then if you don't want to do that, then you could just, at the end of your comment, just say this comment does not exist. And then I'll know that you want this thing.
And then I'm just gonna like figure out some random way to do it. Oh, I know. I will get a three-year-old in here and then I'll just scroll through the things and she'll randomly pick one and then I'll, I'll message you. Okay, that's fun. I'll see you guys later. No, it stands for very no. Yes, loser. Violins never yell lame. Virtually nothing you like. I'm just kidding, that one's, <laughs> that one's not true. Veracity now, youth later. Violent news, your letter. Vigor nobody yet learned. Vocalized narration yields laughter. <laughs> vacant, vacant nations yodel loudly. Varied naturalized yummy lemons. Volunteer nap, yesterday, last. Visit next yearly lecture. Views necessitate yarn lamps. <laughs> I think I'm running out of words with these letters in them. Tell me what you think the abbreviation VNYL stands for in the comments. That would be hilarious.